welcome back to Susan's Kitchen Corner and on today's episode we're going to be talking about spaghetti squash. This is what spaghetti squash looks like. Now mind you it doesn't come in the store halfway like this because I already cut it in half. Here's the seeds inside and here's the uh, spaghetti in the, um, the double boiler that's done and I don't, I want, I'm cutting this a little short because the thing is I'm sure you don't want to look at boiling water with steam coming out of it for however long this was in here. I don't time anything. I don't, I don't usually, I don't usually, um, put the timer on. I just watch it. I'm always here. So this is what a, a double boiler looks like if you have a different type of double boiler. Okay, I have to admit, when you cut these things in half, they are a little bit difficult. So what I recommend to do is when you have it down on the board, get this part of the knife right here, jab it in, and then it's 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 gonna do what it, it's gonna do what it's gonna do. And I like to cut them in half perfectly, but that doesn't always happen. That's why I, I got kind of this and then the bigger half is in there. I'll wrap this up and put it in the fr refrigerator, but let me first show you something. Um, this is an avocado device, but you know, I don't use it for avocados. But this pop part right here makes great for scooping out the seeds. If I can show it close up, just dig in. And it's just, I don't know, I just really like it. It's, it's kind of like an ice cream scoop. But it gets all the, and I'm really showing you this here, but it gets all this out. Voila! And makes a good device for it. Now, see, I was on my other episode, um, pumpkin. Carving a pumpkin, you have to take all the seeds out and stuff. This is the ultimate. If they made this a little bit bigger and a little bit wider, it would be awesome. And again, somebody's probably going to come out with it, uh, or already has come out with it. So let's set that aside. And again, um, this is, you bring it to a boil. The water, of course, you bring the water to a boil. But make sure the, bo the, water, the water at the bottom doesn't come up through the holes. Because then you're going to be bathing your, your um, spaghetti squash with... Uh, water which you don't want to do and you just want to stick it in when it's done it'll stick in come out stick in come out it's it's that easy so and uh, on my other video I show you how to peel the outside here with spaghetti squash you don't want to do that that stuff's still falling out of there you don't want to you don't want to peel the outside because you want to fluff it so what we're going to do now is we're going to put this on a plate here turn that off and then here is our spaghetti squash like that and again it's just it's it's really 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 simple this is spaghetti squash that's why I'm doing this video so short it's that simple and then what you want to do now I'm gonna do it right now because it is hot but all you do is take your fork you get in there you pull it apart and then as you pull the flesh apart, you get to see why it's called spaghetti squash. Because it looks like spaghetti. It has the same texture as spaghetti. And I don't know if a close-up sorry it's gonna do it, but it has it looks like it looks like spaghetti. It re it really does. It has a, that, that same um, noodle appearance. So I'm gonna let this cool down. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to make soup with it. Now, if you've never tried spaghetti squash, it has a very, how would you say? It has a very um, nutty flavor. There we go, nutty. Uh, almost like an al dente flavor. And al dente is not when you, when you cook something and it still kind of has a little bit of a texture to it. That's why I was thinking of making it into a soup with... Um, chicken broth and 
If you have watched my other videos, I have, and you're like, well, how does she make this? I have a video, chicken broth uh, video, that shows you how to make, uh, I have a stock video if you want to watch that, which is even better. Um, takes a little bit longer though. And then I have a broth, chicken broth video, which again is really easy. It's, it's one of these things. So watch that video, learn how to make this, freeze it, and then when you need soup right away, pull it out and voila, you got soup. Um, I will show you the ingredients and then I will make another video because we're going to use shrimp. Now, I'm going to let you guys go hiatus with the shrimp. You can use as much as you want. If you want to use tiger prawns, go for it. If you want to use a small little, little tiny shrimp, uh, it's, it's up to you. I like using raw shrimp. And then what I do, I have my, um, I get cilantro, which is back here, uh, and garlic. And I mince those up, which I will show you. And it's awesome cooked with the shrimp. And, um, oh, let's not forget bok choy. So if you want to continue to the next video with me and learn what to do with the spaghetti squash, let's move right along.